Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to pick number and day number 29 of my favorite albums to listen to in the summertime. We're winding down, we just got a couple days left here as we discuss uh, some of our favorite soundtrack albums to the warmer weather months, summertime fun, fun in the sun. These are the albums we take with us when we've got some uh, summertime, warm weather activities outdoors most of the time, right? Today for day number 29, this is the debut studio album from this American slash Canadian band, right? Got a couple members from Upper Midwest and then to the Great White North, released September 1975, recorded at uh, Can Bass Studios in Vancouver. Produced by Mike Flicker from Mushroom Records. I'm talking about Dreamboat Annie. By Heart. Yes. Love Heart. Love a lot of their albums. The debut album, though, is not only is it my favorite, but it's it's definitely a summertime album for me. Just so many great songs on here that just stand the test of time, and they're just they're great summertime, sunshiny type songs. Either they rock hard, or they got this kind of cool folky pop vibe, right? A little bit of both on this album. Of course, the uh, original lineup of Ann Wilson, lead and backing vocals, a little bit of flute, Nancy Wilson, her sister, on all sorts of guitars, backing vocals, Roger Fisher, all sorts of guitars as well, Howard Leese, guitars, a little bit of synths, Steve Fawson, bass guitar, Mike DeRosier on drums, and then uh, we got a couple people who add in some things on this album, additional drums and percussion and stuff like that. You got uh, Dave Wilson, Ray Iot, uh, Kat Hendricks, Rob Deans, Jeff Fobert, Tessie Ben Susson, Jim Hill, Brian Newcomb, Duris Maxwell, right? So adding the little things here and there. What do we got on this album? A lot of classics, right? Starts off with Magic Man, great hard rocker, a very melodic hard rocker to kick off the album. Classic track for them. Uh, then the lush, wonderful Dreamboat Annie, Fantasy Child, and of course Crazy on You, which to me is an absolutely legendary song. I think the best heart song of all time. Between you got uh, Nancy's wonderful intricate acoustic guitar opening and then that great Roger Fisher riff, right? Just good hard rock song, man. But just a lot of good melodies, a lot of cool parts and changes and things. So good. Soul of the Sea, just absolutely intoxicating. Then you got uh, Dreamboat Annie once again, right? Dreamboat Annie, of course, makes its appearance a couple times on this album. These short little pieces uh, over on side two. You got uh, White Lightning and Wine, real fun rocker. Uh, Love Me Like Music, I'll Be Your Song. <clears throat> the Incredible Sing Child, which to me, Sing Child, is one of the great un unheralded heart guitar riffs of all time. So good. So good. Kick-ass rocker right there. How Deep It Goes. And then, of course, Dreamboat Annie, The Reprise, which is the longer of the... Uh, of the uh, Dreamboat Annie songs, just lush and gorgeous and melodic, and man, Anne's voice, just so good. I mean, she's just such a powerhouse vocalist then and now, but man, back then, to hear a rock vocalist singing like this, female rock vocalist, incredible. So good. So good. All right, what do we got? Charts. Australia, number nine. Number nine. Uh, Canada, this made it to number 20. Dutch charts, number seven. Japan, number 67. UK album charts, number 36. And this one made it all up to the uh, number seven slot on the Billboard 200 charts. And as far as certification goes, we've got uh, Australia made it, to made it to gold. Made it to number gold. No, made it to gold. Sold gold. 20,000 units sold. Canada, double platinum, 200,000 units sold. And here in the States, this was a platinum seller. One million copies sold. Pretty cool, right? The, the first of many hit albums from this band. And as far as like the single goes, singles go, releases uh, How Deep It Goes was released April 1975, Magic Man, June 1975, Crazy On You, March of 76, and then Dreamboat Annie, November 1976. So they kept pumping out the singles uh, on, onto radio from this album about a year after it was released. So uh, and then before you know it, you got more albums to come, right? So that is my pick for today. Dreamboat Annie, crazy good melodic hard rock, crazy good melodic lush folk, folk and hard rock combining to make one of the uh, great bands of all time. Heart from Seattle. 
Let us know what you think of this album down in the comments below as well as your pick for today. Day number 29. We've got two more days left. That's it, people. Two more days. 30, 31, and then all of a sudden, boom, August 1st is here. My favorite 31 vocalists of all time, ranked along with my three favorite albums that they performed on and my favorite vocal performance from them of all time. My favorite song that just kind of really gets me from that artist, that singer. So you guys have got some homework to do. I haven't even finished my list yet, so that's still to come. And uh, we'll see you soon here with more stuff I am Pete Pardo. Visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, all together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff I am Pete Pardo. Take care, everybody. Tune in tomorrow. We'll get in the prog seat Wednesday, of course, new album review day. Friday morning at the Fun House with Martin Popoff. Also, the Fester's Picks. Saturday's the Review Crew. And Sunday, ranking the album, Simon Phillips Protocol, along with George Lemie and Eric Porter. That's all coming up this weekend. So, take care. See you, See you tomorrow morning for number 30. Bye-bye.